I'm so happy you're here today to draw this adorable, very fun little ocean friend, our octopus. All right, let's get started. You guys need a piece of paper. We're going to start it horizontally. Okay, we call this landscape position. So I'm going to draw with a Sharpie marker so you guys can see it really well. You can draw with a pencil or a crayon or whatever you'd like. We're going to start with this octopus head, pretty big and upside down. Almost we can say maybe a U shape, but maybe a rainbow arc. It's going to be pretty big and round, almost to the top of my paper. But I'm not going to go any far, farther than that. So I want it to be opened right there because our octopus, his legs are going to come up and take up all of this paper space. Okay, so we're going to curve this line, a pretty quick curve, and then up and around. And I want to leave a good space between the lines that I'm making for those octopus pentacles. Okay, we're going to come over here and do this side next. So I'm going to curve my line and I'm coming up and around. And if you need a second, that's fine. It is good though to try and do your lines a little bit fast just to get that curve nice and smooth. If you're doing it really, really slow, it's just so hard sometimes to get it into like a smooth flowy curve. So I'm going to Curve it. I'm going to follow that line, leaving space between my lines. And I'm going to stop before I get too far in the center. Because how many do we need? Yeah, we need eight. Our octopus friends have lots and lots of tentacles. So we need eight. So we have two. Let's just come back back out and curve a line again and leave that space and come back in. We're going to do the same thing on the other side and it's okay if they get a little bit shorter. That's okay. They're going to get next to that paper and we're going to use all of our paper space. Now we're just going to keep going. This one might, you might even have them overlap each other. You guys, that is kind of a cool look. Maybe I should try that over here. When I come down, I'm going to bump into this one, jump over it, come out this way, and that's going to give that tentacle. I'm going to air draw over that one so that I come out in the right spot. Huh. And that kind of gives it a cool little twist. Maybe we should do that for this one over here too. Let's try it. My example didn't have any like that, but you know we can play around and do what we want with our art. I'm going to curve it up, jump over this one, curve it, come back, jump, air, draw across it so I get in the right spot. Okay, I like that. It gives it a lot of movement. That looks super fun. All right, how many more do we need? Let's not get carried away. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, just one more. Okay, I have some good space down here. I'm going to come and I'm just going to connect it back to that line that I left off. So however you need to get those together, you can draw the left side a little bit more and then connect them so it has that center spot. Okay, this is looking really good so far. I hope that you have used most of your paper so that our octopus is the main subject and he's taking up most of that space. Sometimes when we draw really big and use all of the space that we have on our paper, it looks really, really fun and good. All right, let's get these big eyes. 
Now, you know our octopus is kind of cartoony. He's not a realistic octopus. We call that, um, oh, I was looking at my eyeballs, stylized. So we can stylize it and make it kind of fun and cartoonish so that we can do whatever we want with them. Okay, now in most of my, if you followed along with me before, you know that I'm going to do this now and you can just wait and do this when you start to color. So you guys are going to be able to use whatever you have at home. You can use crayons to color your octopus. You can do markers. If you have paint at home, you could always combine materials so you could have a little bit of your octopus in crayon and you could do the water around them in watercolor paint or however you want whatever you want to do it is your artwork so you guys remember you're the artist you can design it and create it however you want now my octopus is going to be a super happy little guy. So he's going to have a little smile going on. And I'm just going to make those little dashes on the end. Okay, what do you think? Fun? Now, if we want, here's some choices for you. So I have, I painted my octopus using tempera paint and it's a little bit thicker than the watercolor paint and the good thing about tempera is that when you paint over a dry spot it covers another color so there are a few things you can do if you know that you're using a paint that can do that you can wait and just make some little um, dashes or circular patterns for those um, suction cup looking little inside spots of its tentacles or if you want you can make some little oval shapes coming off of the just the underside underneath this bottom part of its tentacle and then if you have your now pay attention because there are a lot of lines going on. So you want to make sure that you're going on the bottom of that tentacle, okay? And remember, they're not perfect. I mean, this is, this is an animal in nature. And our drawing is not a realistic drawing. It is stylized. So we can do whatever we want. If you wanted them to be bigger or smaller or another kind of little shape, whatever you want. These are just reminding us of that cool detail that octopus have on their underside of their tentacles. And you guys are going to get to color it however you want. My octopus example is a blue octopus with a pretty sea green background. But remember, you can do your favorite colors. You could have a hot pink octopus with a bright blue background. You can do whatever your imagination thinks about. <laughs> and you could do several. Remember, you can do one, and if you love it, awesome if you want to change the colors you can choose something different i did i'm going to show this one fast because i'm going to just tell you and be honest you guys it's not my favorite but i tried this little guy and i just was you know being silly and creative and wanted to do little spots on them but i just didn't love it but i had practiced so i knew what i didn't want to do and what I did want to do, so then I did this guy after that, and I'm super happy with it. So that's just how artists work.
when we make things for the first time, sometimes we learn what we like and what we don't like. And then the more times we do it, the better we get. I can't wait for you guys to finish yours and love it, love it, love it. I hope that you enjoyed your octopus today. And remember, you guys can like and subscribe so you can see the rest of my videos that I post. Okay, happy creating.